Oh man, what a long day of sleeping for 10 hours straight. I cannot wait to go downstairs and get... What is that? My name is Mr. Dodo. You know, I never realized how cool it would be if extinct animals existed today. There's so many fascinating animals out there like the woolly mammoth, great ox, and especially the dodo bird. I found out about what dodo birds were when I was like 5 years old during a Wild Kratts episode. People think dodos were stupid because- And now scientists are bringing these rock-eating creatures back? The method for bringing back dodo birds is from a method known as the extinction. The extinction is a biological process in which brings back new versions of extinct species. It's important to note that the extinction isn't literally reviving an extinct animal, nor is it bringing back an extinct animal with the same psychological and behavior characteristics. The extinction creates proxies of extinct species, or in other words, it creates a paradigm or an almost identical animal of a specific extinct species. The extinction is all due to three different methods. Backbreeding, cloning, and genome editing and synthetic genomics. Backbreeding is another word for selective breeding. It essentially breeds animals that are closely related to the extinct animal that they want to quote unquote bring back. For example, when the scientists wanted to bring back aurochs, scientists bred similarly characterized animals with a cattle in hopes to create a cattle that resembled aurochs. Again, this would not result in a literal auroch from 300 years ago, but rather a paradigm slash replica of an auroch. Cloning Cloning isn't exactly what you think it is. You don't put an animal inside the machine to produce a clone of it, no no no. When you clone in the extinction terms, the animal is still getting bred, but in an interbreeding situation. Cloning only applies to interbreeding where a specific process called somatic cell nuclear transfer, or SCNT, occurs, which is how it differentiates itself from brat breeding. Obviously, there's a bit more to it, but that's just the basics of cloning. Genome editing and synthetic genomics. This method of the extinction is the coolest one out of all. Genome editing and synthetic genomics essentially manipulates a living organism's DNA by deleting, adding, and replacing different parts of the DNA. This can affect eye colors or even risks for diseases of an animal. This whole method of manipulating DNA is from a method called CRISPR, or Clustered Regularly Interspaced Short Palindromic Repeats. Now, using genome editing and synthetic genomics, scientists are currently using this method with the DNA of a Nicobar pigeon, as these pigeons share the most similarities with the dodo bird. After the process of using CRISPR to produce gene-edited DNAs, these gene-edited DNAs would be then inserted into the embryos onto the Nicobar pigeon to hopefully reproduce something that resembles a dodo bird. And that is the story of the resurrection of dodo birds and the extinction in a nutshell.